chasing the police every single day. <laughs> Hello, Rickards. Ah, uh, yes. Do you always keep the window closed? Mm. Is this normal? Uh, we're just uh, having a bit of a hard time opening up today, right now. Oh, okay. We're, uh, no, there are actually very few people in here right now, so we're not operating at full capacity right now. Okay. Hey, uh, I'm still here because I've been trying to make a... Uh, uh, my name is Andy, a uh, reporter for Charlotte County Cop Watch. I have been trying for weeks to get the report that you sent to the state attorney's office about John, uh, Charlotte County Sheriff Detective John Heck illegally battering me, and then you tried to illegally charge me with uh, breaching the peace, which is insane. Uh, I believe it's frustrating the process, and I, I'm here with the documents to, to show that this is real. You filed this. I need the report and all the documents and audio video that went with it. Well, I'm... I'm just a volunteer here, sir. The, but so I'll, uh... I need to speak to somebody in the records department then. Well, no one's here right now, so I can leave you a message with them if you'd like me to get them to try to call you back or something. Is this a joke? No, sir, this isn't a joke. Um, this, this is, there's nobody I can talk to right now in records. One second, let me try to figure out if someone's actually back here right now. Records, how may I help you? Uh, yes, uh, this is Andrew, reporter for Charlotte County Cop Watch. I have tried for many, many weeks to get the report that you did on Charlotte County Sheriff Detective John Heck <coughs> um, battering me, and then you illegally tried to charge me with breach of the peace. I need the report, I need all the documents that went with it, and all the audio video, and you guys have not responded. It's frustrating the process. Right, with right. No, I do have that request, and... You want everything that we sent over for review. That, is that what you're looking for? Uh, absolutely. Okay. Well, the case, from what I'm trying, I'm trying to find out from the state attorney whether or not this is still under review. What, so miss, I, I, have, I, have, I have the documents right here. They okay, did not. We don't have those documents. So until I hear back from them that the case is no longer under review by them, it's, I it's, can't release I it. Do, can you at least look at my documents? I have them. I have it right here signed by Kunisek on March 26th. Is, seriously. Right, but I can't accept that paperwork from you. I need to hear it from the state attorney. I, you know this looks really bad on YouTube for this kind of... This is insane. I'm... I, I, it's... Right there, signed by Kunisek, March 26, legally right, insufficient. Right, I apologize, but I cannot accept the paperwork from you. I have to get it from the state attorney. I can, so sti I can, I can still you, ask you for the no I can I can still ask you for the documents. I can still ask you for the documents. What's that? I can still ask for the, uh, the report and all the documents. I can still, even though they, you supposedly gave it... Supposedly you haven't got the paperwork that says that they're not going to do anything. I can still have it. No, because it's still an open case under under investigation until they're finished. Okay, where's I need to talk to your boss. Okay, I'll see if I can get one for you. Yep. All right. This is not good. Do they always do this? Close the window? This is weird. It is weird, yeah. 
I don't get it. I made a call last night and uh, I talked to somebody and she said, would you like to speak with an officer? And I right. said, yes, and um, gave her my number, but I never got a call back. Wow. And, and, but granted, it was after nine. You know, it doesn't was, matter. You guys pay a lot of money for that. Uh, come on, man. You know that that's... I've asked for weeks to get it. It doesn't even matter if you supposedly just sent it to him and you haven't got a response back. You know and I know you've got a response. We have to wait until the state attorney's office provides us with documentation. Okay, I have it right here. I can't take it from you. I need it from the state attorney's office. If there's an issue with that, contact the state attorney's office. So, and ask them to insufficient send it. evidence, legally... I can still ask for the documents anyways, even though... You can ask for the documents. Yes. We're not going to provide them to you until the because state attorney's office tells them it's no longer Do you know you have, have to give them to me I'm redacted? I'm not going to argue with you. You had your answer. What? No, You're that's the law. The state attorney's office. You, she's wondering like I am, do you always close the window like this? All right. Is there anything else I can help you with besides this issue that's already been answered? You're, you're breaking the law. Should you be charged with a misdemeanor? I'm good at it. Wow. Really? You, this is the way you treat you, miss. Right here. mention why they treat me like this I, I, know, I know we need cops but but I am a I am a reporter that specializes in police corruption yeah and that's that's why they close the window because they knew you were coming they won't give me the records it's it's already been not guilty and they won't give me the records that's kind of bad right yeah. Yeah. Pick up, what, pick up the yeah, all you got to do is pick it up, they'll answer. And what they did you is wrong. If you called at 9 o'clock, they should have responded. Yeah. Yep. All right. You have a good day. Good morning, State Attorney's Office. How may I help you? Uh, yes. Uh, I, I'm uh, on speakerphone talking with my friend here. Uh, we're, we are trying to find out uh, if you sent the SAO disposition to the Punta Gorda Police Department. You sent it to me, uh, and the Punta, I was just at the Punta Gorda Police Department. They said they didn't get it from you, and you signed it on March 26. Okay, I have no idea what you're talking about, sir. Can I can I can I give you the SAO warrant number so you can look up to see if you've sent it to the uh, Punta Gorda Police Department? Um, I'm gonna put you through the investigator. Hold on. Okay. You have reached the investigator at the state attorney's office in Punta Gorda, Florida. Please leave a detailed message, including your phone number, and I will return your call as soon as possible. Thank you. Record your message at the tone. When you are finished, hang up or press pound for more options. Ah, <clears throat> uh, yes. My name is Andy. I'm a reporter for Charlotte County Cop Watch. I was just at the Punta Gorda Police Department uh, trying to get all the documents on the illegal investigation into me and the charge against uh, Charlotte County Sheriff Detective John Heck for battering me. Uh, the warrant number is 251-6261, uh, and that one is on, uh, uh, who is that? So that's the warrant number, Jesus Christ, for John Heck, I believe. You signed it on March 26th, uh, and then uh, mine is 251-6262. Uh, yeah, that is me. Uh, that's uh, uh, And uh, you signed that on March 26. Punta Gorda police are trying to tell me that they did not receive this paperwork from you and that they will not release the investigation to me and all the documents and uh, recordings to go with it. Please call me back at 941-916-2259. Uh, this is outrageous. I need all the documents for this for my lawyer. Thanks. Bye-bye. Hey, Sheriff County, this is Sheriff County Cop Watch. I am using any video here with under fair use if you uh, have criticism, reporting, teaching, etc. And please donate. I do not make money from YouTube, and uh, there are different ways to donate in the uh, video links. Thanks.